What's going on Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV and in today's video I'm going to talk to you guys about Moments Extreme and give you guys some tips on Moments Extreme 3 to get rich gossage, get 50,000 subs, get a lot of packs as well. You get a lot of packs. You also get a lot of program stars by doing this and that in turn is going to help you get even more you know boss packs potentially and even more packs and more XP. I think I started out around 1350 is with program stars and now I'm at 1550 by completing this so you're gonna get a lot of program stars and some of them even when you fail you're gonna get some program stars as well if you close out and come back to it now is this worth it to do i mean that's a question you're gonna have to ask yourself if you want to get better at the game i definitely suggest that you do this you know i know there's not a lot of time left so if you're kind of waiting for mlb the show 20 you know i understand that if you want to get better and warm up for mlb the show 20 this is a perfect way to do it plus you get a really good rich gossage cards that you can use in the esl new year's cup you can use and rank seasons maybe you're gonna play in like a tournament to warm up on mlb the show 19 as we lead up to mlb the show 20 you're definitely gonna want this goose gossage card so here we have rich gossage's attributes he's got a 124 125 in the h for nine k for nine 41 stamina he's got 99 velocity 99 break four seam fastball sinker slurve change up that's gonna be really really effective he's gonna be really effective against right-handed hitters i'd like to pair him with billy wagner in my bullpen he's gonna be lights out 41 stamina is pretty nice too doesn't have the best control but at the same time 124 125 is lights out especially with those pitches he's gonna be really really good this card would go for a lot on the open market in my opinion so now we're gonna get to the part of the video where i'm gonna give you tips on each one of these missions this first one not very difficult just make sure that you sure that you restart if you don't get a home run or a double or a triple or whatever if you don't get an extra base hit in the first you know two at bats it's time to restart start because you're not going to be able to to get enough of them what happens a lot of the times in these is the computer that's on your team you know you end up getting like 11 runs by the third inning somehow so you get a lot of at bats so if you can get the first couple um extra base hits in those first couple of bats and then get that on top of it it makes that one really really easy this one is a little bit more difficult to be honest with you um, I got it done on my first shot though. So I feel really really lucky that I got this one done on my first shot but You're basically gonna go up against some lower tier bullpen cards of the Mets and you're gonna have a really Like souped up Nats lineup. It's still on Hall of Fame. It doesn't make it that difficult Just make sure you get good pitches down the middle take walks, you know Walks are gonna be just as good as anything because you only have a couple outs to work with use your bench and Michael Taylor So this one Kristen Yelich. I've seen some people having some issues with it on Twitter the thing is with this one is you almost want to be a little bit late in your swing so you can hit it to the gap getting the home runs are going to be really easy tallying the four hits is going to be really easy so if you don't get the double or the triple in your first couple at bats it's time to quit and start over just make sure you don't go for the inside of the park home run when you do hit it to the gap until you got the double and then the triple you're going to be able to hit the home run really easily because you're in polo grounds and you can just pull the ball over the short fence that's going to be the easiest part and even if you you could get an inside of the park home run later just make sure you get the double and the triple first those are going to be by far the hardest things to do in this mission and eventually you will get it especially when your team like i said in the previous ones like this your team just takes over and you get a lot of at bats Six in a game with the top hitting pitchers against a team of position players who have made pitching appearances in the MLB. This one, biggest tip I can get you is maybe, uh, you know, pitch like two or three innings with Rick and Keel. When you go to take him out of the game, substitute him into left field first. So switch positions with your left fielder, make your left fielder the current pitcher. So when you take him out and put in a new pitcher, just keep in mind, you'll still have those Rick and Keel hitting stats because he's, he's a really good hitter, so is Babe. Walter Johnson on your bench is a pretty good hitter too, so don't be afraid to use him as a pinch hitter. He's got a lot of good hitting stats, so make sure that you use him. And I think like a third hitter in your lineup is pretty good too. The quicker you can get Shohei Otani out of the game, the easier this is going to be because they're going to bring in pitchers that aren't as good, and eventually they'll bring in a pincher that doesn't have any H for 9 or K for 9 at all, and that makes it really, really easy. This one took me a couple times, but it's not too bad. The Great Bambino, I mean, just try to pull the ball. You gotta hit three home runs. This one was actually a little bit tricky because Michaelis has a lot of HR per nine, which is something that plays in offline. So keep that in mind if you're lining out a lot. HR per nine is a part of offline play still. It's not like how it is online. I just had to pull the ball the best I could. You gotta be really, really patient. If you don't get the home runs in the first two at bats, it's probably time to restart. Hopefully, you know, you might get lucky. You're gonna almost need to get that done. Otherwise, you wanna, gonna, you're going to want to restart because it's just, it's too difficult to chase those home runs at the end. 
Win this nine inning game with an all contact lineup against some of the biggest power bats in a game while hitting three home runs and not allowing one home run. This one, the winning the game and the hitting the home runs is not going to be the tricky part. It's going to be not giving up one home run. You're going to have enough like speed to hit it to the gaps a couple times, and you know you're going to get some inside the park home runs, the short porches. You're going to get some home runs off of that. The, really the key is to use your bullpen i recommend using bruce Suter, and i would recommend using kirby yates and then spamming that splitter low so they try to hit it into the ground and keep in mind the computer will chase at, at times it feels like they won't chase but they will chase eventually and that's what's going to make you successful here just do not give up that home run stay out of the strike zone low especially late in the game and i really wouldn't worry about getting the home runs those should come pretty easily to be honest with you on hall of fame now this is the difficult one this is why i wanted to make this video because i have played this multiple 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 times this is where you're gonna get a lot better at playing the game i feel like my hitting is off the chain right now i'm not even using the pci i have that turned off i've been starting my pci just a little bit up and in if you go and not watch pitching rebels just really if you go and watch his videos you know his gameplays and see where he puts it he just puts it a it's not a very exaggerated high and end where he puts it, but I've been putting it like that with the PCI off and having a lot of success hitting. This one's going to take you a little bit unless you get really, really lucky. But what it's going to do is you're just getting legend pitching after legend pitching after legend pitching. It's going to make you so much better. The object of this one is you want to chase Bob Gibson as quickly as possible, a lot like Shohei Otani. You want to chase him quickly as possible because they put in Rich Gossage next and then they put in Billy Wagner. Now, there, if you really want to stretch it out, eventually Billy Wagner and Gossage are going to get really, really tired. That's going to make your PCI a lot bigger and make it easier to hit. But you still need to hit well off of Bob Gibson, off of Gossage. Like, you can drag it out or you can just beast on Legend. Like, one of the two, that's how you're going to get this one done. When you pitch the first inning, you know, the pitch the first inning, if you give up a run in the first inning, automatically just restart. Because they, you only have two runs to play with. This one's really difficult because of the five home runs. And it's also really difficult because you can't give up any runs. And the computer hits really, really well. They will absolutely punish mistakes. You're going to line out a lot. The computer's defense is also ridiculous. Like, they're going to make ridiculous diving plays on you. They're going to rob home runs from you. It's very, very difficult. It can be really frustrating. So you have to keep your mind about you. You have to stay in a positive state of mind. Otherwise, I'm telling you, you do not have a chance. Once you venture away from that mindset of being, you know, getting to negative mode, it is absolutely over. You have to stay in a positive mindset in this. Let me show you the lineup I used. You can stack your lineup with an all left-handed lineup. Cards I really recommend is having this Christian Yelich, having Babe Ruth. I know he's super expensive, and I know my, my cards are very, very expensive, so... I know that's, you know, it's not everybody has these kind of cards or whatever, but, you know, these cards are just really super helpful if you have them. Yelich is helpful. Babe Ruth is helpful. I like playing Bregman at shortstop, so I have power at shortstop. I like Alomar, Mays, and Rodriguez, and this is something I'd change to later just because they're easy to get base hits with, and they play pretty good defense, so they're doing both things, and plus, they can hit it. Both these guys can hit a home run. Uh, Pujols is great. He hits a lot of home runs. Bellinger is the man. He hits a ton of home runs. Frank Thomas obviously hits a lot of home runs. Ted Williams is someone you're going to want on your bench, if not in your starting lineup for somebody like Babe, to be honest with you. You know, play Griffey as well. If you have Griffey, you can use him off the bench. I use Vladimir Guerrero as a last second pinch hitter. Um, if I had to face Wagner, because he's pretty good against left handed pitching. I also, if you get the runs, you know, defensive replace, you know, put Vlad in, for, you know, move Yelich to left or whatever you need to do to make your defense as good as, good as possible to end. Like I said, the first inning, you know, I'd like to start with a lefty. You can put whatever cards in here, you know, like lower tier cards to make sure that you get the starter that you want. It'll always choose your number one starter. I use Chris Sale only for like one or two innings. Um, I'm only going to use him for like one or two innings. Once he comes up to bat, I'm taking him out. And I know they have a lot of right-handed pitchers, or right-handed hitters, I should say. They end their lineup with like uh, Ernie Banks and Mike Schmidt and Johnny Bench. That's four, or that's three righties in a row that are all better at hitting left-handed pitching. But the start of the game, you go up against Almar, Trout, and you also go up against Griffey. Then, it ha then it's Pujols, then it's Ted Williams. So that's better for a lefty, to be honest with you. So I use a lefty to start off the game. I recommend you do that too. 
for the bullpen you think you want to have more righties too but honestly like you need you're gonna almost use this entire bullpen especially when you take them out early um anybody that has the sinkers and the sliders i like miller i think i use miller towards the end but wade davis is a really nice free card you get britain's not expensive romo is really expensive jansen's not very expensive um i recommend you just getting a you need a really stacked bullpen maybe you have three lefties at most you could have more righties than that but it's nice to be able to you know if ted williams or griffey's up very late in the game like it's nice to just even have them for one at bat it's nice to have them and again do not be afraid to throw outside the zone especially when you've got the lead late you need to be throwing the ball low you really need to switch up your pitches you know switch up your locations and switch up your pitch speeds you know if you what i mean by that is you know switch up your pitches between the sinker and a slider but you need to almost throw the change up low this is very very difficult i've, I've probably got to this mission and got it completed either with the home runs or the i got all the you know i held them under two runs so many times but the problem is it's just it's i probably got to like i probably should have finished this like six or seven times this is extremely extremely difficult what it's really going to do is after a while you're gonna get so good at hitting bob uh gibson and you're gonna get so used to the pitch speed just from playing it maybe if it takes you like a couple days to play it that you're eventually going to be early on 99 mile an hour fastballs so like very early it's crazy look fastball in this game uh, you know really really look fastball to hit the home runs and look to hit it in the middle of the plate um pitches in the middle of the plate you're really really gonna drive i know it sounds simple but it's very that's that is to what that is what the key is for me at least and eventually you're gonna see it coming out of his hand you're gonna see the ball and you're just gonna know hey that's a pitch in the middle your pitch recognition is gonna be off the charts you're in, you know you want to drive up that pitch count as much as possible so don't be afraid to take walks when you quit um so you're gonna go you know i'm gonna want to give you when you should quit first inning I, if you give up a run at all quit immediately you know uh when you come up to hit that in the bottom part of that inning when you come up to hit make sure you get at least one home run or you get three or four hits if you get a home run or three or four hits keep going see how the second inning goes see how the third inning goes but you don't want to chase too much in this one either you know you don't want to play so many nine inning games like you need to get off to a good start i think in the one i finally got it done i hit a home run with ruth i hit a home run with yelich i hit like a home run with bellinger and i hit a home run with alomar all in the first inning so i was just going i was on fire with that another kind of a little secret thing is bregman can play second base if you need him to but i'd recommend that you play almar there um those are pretty much my tips for getting that last one done it was super satisfying to get it done so much work went into getting it done down in the comment section below just leave me a comment if you have a question also guys i'm trying to make my mic quality sound better so hopefully it does sound better let me know if that sounds better down in the comments below or if there's anything that you guys think i can improve in my videos let me know down in the comments below i'd really appreciate that hope you guys are having a great day thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace